So this is the main thing that I have to fix and it's a biggie is the floor rotted out underneath the refrigerator because there was a leak at some point. So Lauren and I keep going back and forth whether or not we should replace all the flooring in here or whether we should keep it. And I think right now the smart move is to repair the floor that we have now and make one trip and make sure that we even like the RV lifestyle before we dump a thousand dollars and a week or two of time into remodeling all the floors. I've got this carbide tip multi-tool. I'm going to cut the grout lines on all of the broken tiles. And then I've got two part penetrating epoxy that I will use to harden all of this wafer board. And then I'll place the tiles back on top. Now I just need to go through and clean up all the grout lines. So I've got nice clean edges to work with. Okay, got that all cleaned up. I've got a lot of work to do with these tiles. I'm gonna take these into the shop. Basically taking the multi-tool with the carbide and just cutting away all of the grout, which is harder than it looks. All right, those turned out really nice actually. Some of them can't even tell that there's a crack and then Others are a little more obvious, but hopefully I can put all these really bad ones in one area and then put a rug over that. I only had time to go to the grocery store, so I didn't have a huge selection of nail polish, but I think I can make do with these three colors. I'm gonna start on one of the really bad ones, so if it doesn't look good, I didn't really mess anything up. Well, just the base coat of gray already looks loads better, so I'm definitely gonna do that on the rest of them. Okay, new plan. Uh, first of all, penetrate this stuff does not. Good news is though, as I was doing that, I found out underneath is a hard layer. This whole subfloor of this RV has, is made of metal, I think. And this is why we bought a quality older motor home instead of a newer one. Because what they've done here is they have two subfloors. They have the original plywood, a vapor barrier, and then the plywood that the tile is on. And this vapor barrier kept all the rot from going down into the sub subfloor. The previous owners got a quote for getting this repair done and they came back at five to $8,000. Now I'm sure that that included all new tiles, so it's not really comparing apples to apples, but it's certainly difficult to compare to the about 50 bucks that I spent. The hardest part of this project was actually matching the grout color because it was kind of this weird in between beige and gray. So I ended up mixing two different grout colors together. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but it seemed to work okay for me. Bone dry. And that's how much I had left. <laughs> oh boy, what is this? It's turning colors. Oh my gosh, it's the sunlight. <laughs> wow, okay. I'm not freaking out anymore, I promise. Well, I don't think that could have blended any better. Look at that, I don't even know where. Here's an old grout line. Here's a new grout line. And we'll see when it dries, but I think it's pretty perfect. Put a rug right there, and it's like it never happened. And now, of course, I can move on to other projects. Coming up next, we're gonna be removing this couch to put a video editing desk, and we're going to be building a crib for Hudson inside this cabinet. We'll see you then. Bye.